Hello everyone, I'm back with another review. So um, this one has been around, this tea has been around for the last couple months, it's been on the site. Um, this tea is a new rooibos that David's Tea came out with a couple months ago. It is called Vanilla Parfait. So this tea is very expensive, it's $15 per 50 grams. Don't ask me why it's $15 per 50 grams. I thought something, there was a glitch, but I guess that's what it is. So the ingredients are rooibos, chicory root, apple, oat straw, vanilla bean. I don't even know what that is. Natural sweet vanilla flavoring. It's like some chemical, I don't know. But um, I ended up getting 50 grams. It smells like your typical rooibos. It smells very strong of vanilla bean. This smells similar to, um, what was that vanilla bean tea that came out? Oh, what was it? It was like a really strong vanilla bean. It wasn't Christmas morning. It was like a vanilla bean something. It was part of the Christmas line a couple of years ago. I have it reviewed up on the channel already. I don't know where it is. It was a vanilla, oh gosh, I forget what it's called, but it was another vanilla bean tea. Uh, this tea smells very similar to that, but you also get a hint of the rooibos. So it's pretty interesting. I don't even know what that ingredient is. That Balcalis Colgogen GBI 36083, like what, or 6086, like that's just terrifying to me. Um, David's Tea is coming out with all these organic teas, but they're, they have all these chemicals in them that make them organic or something. I, I have no idea what they're doing, but they're making their teas more expensive. They're having weird, creepy labels in it and like really weird ingredients, which is kind of sketch. But um, anyways, I did make vanilla parfait this morning as an iced latte. I have it as a hot latte upstairs too, but um, I'm just going to use it as an iced latte for this uh, review. I'm kind of excited. I heard that people were saying when they tried this, they really, really, really liked it. Like really liked it. So I was kind of like, Kind of shocked because I was like, you know, it's a, just a vanilla rooibos that shouldn't be that great. It's pretty boring. Rooibos are typically bo boring in the first place. Depends on the tea, but let's give it a go. Mmm. Okay, this one. Still your typical rooibos. Still your typical vanilla rooibos. It does have a creamier note in it, though. That's kind of giving me, like, ice cream vibes. Like, it's kind of giving me, like, McDonald's, like, vanilla cone ice cream. Or, like, Dairy Queen vanilla cone ice cream vibes. It's not the best vanilla rooibos I've had. I have had better rooibos. But this one's good. I do like this one. It is giving that really, really, really creamy, creamy, creamy note. Which is kind of giving that ice cream vibe. So... I do like this one. I It was better than I expected. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. I wouldn't say it's incredible or amazing. It's good. It's a really good tea, but it's not like 10 out of 10. It's just a rooibos that basically tastes like vanilla ice cream, in my opinion, is what vanilla parfait tastes like. Um, so what are your purchases tea? Um, no, I think I, I, I think I can come across more vanilla teas elsewhere on other sites that's very similar to this that I can just kind of use as a dupe and not pay $15 for 50 grams. So no, I would not repurchase this tea. Would I stock up? I would not stock up. And rating out of 10, it's good. Seven out of 10. I I, I do enjoy this one. Um, I'm going to enjoy it hot upstairs as well. I made it as an ice or a hot latte upstairs too. Mm. I like this one. It just reminds me of like a vanilla ice cream cone um, in tea form. <laughs> so um, that was my quick review of Vanilla Parfait by David's Tea. It is pricey. So if you want to try it out, I would suggest using your points. Um, I don't know why it's $15 per 50 grams. Don't ask me, but it's uh, pretty pricey. So uh, that was my review of Vanilla Parfait. And I am going to have Lemon Meringue out soon as well. Um, I just have to have time to review it. But that's another one I'm also excited to review. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this review. And thank you guys so much for watching.